So I purchased this uh, Victron Energy Blue Power Phoenix Inverter. It's a 48 volt DC, 1200 watt, and it's a 120 volt AC output. I got this the other day. You can use this for a marine, mobile, off-grid solar. Um, I'm going to be using it in my motorhome as a backup to um, using my 3000 watt EG4 inverter uh, that's 48 volt and I was looking through their um, instructions on how to mount this thing and how to start it up and everything and all their recommendations and pretty easy to understand it's only uh, 13 pages long it's not bad um, we uh, they have a lot of different sizes here on this top row the 12 volt it's uh, 12 volt, and then right next to it is how many watts. So that's 12 volt, 250. And this is 12 volt, 1200 watt. And then you got 24 volt models in the middle, and then 48 volts. And we've got the biggest one out of this selection right here, which is 48 volt, 1200 watt. So you want to make sure you follow all the uh, recommendations in the uh, instructions and in the user manual and how to install everything. Uh, we just kind of pulled this out of the box. First time using a Victron Energy, and we wanted to pull it out of the box and use it. In the motorhome, we're going to be mounting this EG4 3000 watt 48 um, volt DC uh, battery inverter in there. And we really like this. We've been playing with this for like a couple months now, and it's working really well. Uh, we'll be pairing that up with 12 100 watt grape solar panels that we'll either use on the roof or in a EG4 ground mount array um, to be able to charge our batteries. And we're going to be using these batteries right here, the Life Power 4s. But today I just connected them over to the EG4 LLs, and I have two of those in parallel. So that's 200 amp hours and basically I just um, put the cables on here and the negative and the positive and then I connected my negative over here and before I connected my positive um, this wasn't connected on that ring terminal I put this end one end of the uh, resistor here um, on the ring terminal and then I touched the other end to the battery terminal um, so that the charge had to go through this resistor. And this particular resistor is a 25 watt 30 ohm that I bought. I think I got it off of eBay. Uh, wasn't one very much. So I had two of those. But I needed to charge my capacitor in the inverter. And if you don't do that, you're going to get a big spark when you go to touch this uh, cable to this terminal here. You don't want to do that. You could either get a fault on your batteries or a fault in here, and you don't want to damage it. The other thing is, is we'll be grounding this properly in the motorhome, but right now to test this out, I just wanted to see if it would work. So we have our battery connected to our inverter, but there's no solar or any inverter like this involved. We just have the battery, the inverter, and then this is plugged into a watt meter so we can see how many watts and amps and everything we're using. And then it's just plugged in. They have a uh, two outlet on this back of this inverter. And this thing is a low frequency. It's pretty heavy. It's like 17 pounds for this. You pay a little more for the Victron, but it's going to last you a long time from what I hear. Everybody seems to like the Victron energy. Um, and I don't hear of anybody having problems where they only last a few months or a year or two. They seem to feel this is a very durable product. So I'm just starting to use Victron, and so far I like it. Uh, they also have a connection over here for VE Direct, which I purchased a Wi-Fi dongle today. It should be here in two days. And I'll be able to monitor and to program this thing, and it tells you in the manual um, to do that. And then when you get the dongle, you can um, uh, see the instructions on all that stuff. You'll have to download an app for either uh, Android or 
Um, like I have an Apple phone, so they have it for that. So we'll do that when we get that, but pretty easy to do here. Um, they also have for a, um, a remote that you can pull these wires out, run wires, and then you can remotely turn this thing on and off. But uh, to program it, to change the, the settings, you're gonna need either, uh, you're gonna need that Wi-Fi dongle um, to be able to do that. So we ordered that, it was like $39 on Amazon or something. So right now we have the mini split running directly from this cord, plugged into the watt meter, plugged into here, and this thing's on. If we go over, turn this on, it turns on. We can look on our battery right here and we can see that we're at 0.3 amps, 0.4 amps. So it's starting up and this is discharging at 0.5 amps now. And if we go over here and we look, we can see on here that, uh, get to, okay, we're using only, uh, I don't know if you can see that, 40 watts right now. Um, and it is only 0.4 amps. So it's gonna take a, a minute for that to fire up and get going. I had it running earlier and I was blowing out 34 degree air out of this thing. <laughs> and I had it set at 72 and it actually got down to 68 on my remote. Oh, I don't have the temperature thing on, the I feel or follow me. So it should start working on that. But right now we're running that mini split just off of these two batteries and this inverter. And like I said, we'll be grounding this properly in the motor home, but we're just testing this out straight out of the box. And right now it is running it. Earlier I had it running, and there we go, we're at 4.3 amps right now that we're using, and we're at 440 watts. So we're actually running our mini split right here, and I can feel blowing out cold air. Yeah, it's, um, let's see if we can get closer to that. It's 40, 42 degrees coming out of that already. So right now, um, we're at 5.8 amps. Now, 5.8 amps is not very much. We have 100 amps and 100 amps. So we have 200 amp hours, and we can run these batteries down to 20%. And... Right now we're at 96% uh, using around six amps. So we can run this thing for a pretty decent amount of time. Um, we've calculated that we should be able to get away with just using two of these batteries and it'll be more than enough. And now it's kind of running max. It's at 500 and I don't know if you can see that. There we go, 543 watts is all it's running right now. So, and that's a 1200 watt inverter. So pretty easy to do. We'll be using this as a backup. That's gonna be our main one um, that we'll be using in there. And this will be a backup. So we could run this and this thing is running right now. And I, I barely hear anything coming out of this. It is so quiet. Um, compared to like this, I don't know, see if I can get up close there. You can really hear that fan running on this. And, uh, this is extremely quiet. So that's going to make me want to believe that I can mount this inside the motor home rather than the storage area. And we'll be able to keep that in there and keep it nice and cool. So when it starts running that mini split, it will start producing some heat and um, 
will be able to keep it nice and cool. Anyways, I just want to do a video on how impressed I was my first experience with a Victron Energy, and I got it from Signature Solar. I'll put some links in the description for this. Uh, they don't sell that, but I'll put some links for some of the mini splits that they do sell for the batteries and for some of these other inverters and stuff. Um, some of the things you might be interested in, I'll put the links in there. And uh, we are an affiliate with them. When uh, you go through those links and you actually purchase something, we uh, get a small portion of the sale and that helps us to purchase more equipment um, from them and then test it out, unbox it, and let you know what we think. And so far, everything I've bought from them has worked flawlessly. I've had no problems and the customer service is great. I really, it's kind of my one-stop shop now to get all my products for solar and um, we do have a lot of other videos that we do running all kinds of things you might want to check out but just click on those links in the description for the products and you can go right to their website and get more information and like i said if you do purchase something through the link we get a small portion of the sale so please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024.